We are getting a pretty big Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order update this week that adds the photo mode as you see right here and another very nice quality of life feature. So let's talk about it in this video, just a quick brief overview of what you can expect. Would be awesome if you could leave a like on this video, really helps the channel out and let's go. So this is footage from the EA Star Wars Community Manager Ben because the update is not live yet at the time of this recording. They are aiming for tomorrow, so December 11th, according to the same Ben on Reddit. And when the update is live, I will of course do a big breakdown and show you everything in action. Now I just wanted to bring you the news and already share that photo mode footage because it looks very snappy. You can trigger it with LS and RS on the Xbox and L tree and R tree on the PS4 so it's kind of similar to other photo modes where you just have to push both the analog sticks no combination was given for the PC but I would imagine that it's pretty easy to trigger it on the keyboard and then you pause the game and can turn the camera around and focus or tilt your shot at some exposure and if you just want to make some shots of the beautiful environment that we can find in this game they can also hide Cal if you want or the AI and they actually show some of the filters that are available as well pretty common ones for a photo mode but what I really like is that you can also like Instagram style increase the strength so have them like take over the picture or just add them a little bit. Again, I will go way more in depth with this feature once I can get my hands on it, once the update is live and show you all the filters, etc. Ben already on Twitter shared some of the pictures that he took with the photo mode on a developer build of the game and they are really beautiful, like you can really take some awesome shots and I really can't wait to see what you come up with. And I want to actually do something funny, namely highlight your pictures at the end of my future Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order videos. So when this photo mode is live, uh, make some shots, if you got a cool one just send it over to me to my input at yourraptor.com email address or Twitter at yourraptor and then I will maybe highlight it in a future Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order video. And in the big update video I will also share the new lightsaber customization option in action because they really listened to the community and let us remove a specific part of Cal's lightsaber from within the customization menu. You know, that one part that you get by playing through the story and then cannot remove. It's kind of a spoiler, so I don't want to get into the specifics of how you can get it. But Respawn now notes in the patch notes that with this new update we can remove this specific part of Cal's lightsaber if we want. So that's really good news. And the update also comes with a lot of bug fixes for specific areas like where on Kashyyyk right before the spider mini boss you could fall through the ground. I actually had this multiple times. Well after this update this should be fixed. I can't wait to try that. And also there are way more instances where this could happen that they also addressed. Sometimes the bounty hunters would stop hunting Cal also has been fixed with the new updates and I really hope they address some of the frame rate issues as well like even on Xbox One X I'm having issues so I can imagine that on other consoles it's even worse. For now I will leave a link to the patch notes in the video description so you can check it out for yourself if you want but again I will do a complete rundown when the patch is live show you everything in action and way more. Just wanted to bring you the news quickly so you know that you can expect an update on December 11th. Again, they're aiming for it, so we should likely expect it then, but it could also be a little later in the week. I will keep you up to date here. Subscribe for everything Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order if you haven't already. Like this video to support the channel and totally check out my previous video on the fact that Respawn is actually already hiring for their next Star Wars game, likely a sequel to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and also when we might expect that sequel. So check that video by clicking on the screen. For now I will speak to you next time and goodbye.